Hey, this is Jesse Tula for BatchFrame.com, and in this video, I'm going to be walking you through how to use the Unprecompose plugin. Now, before I get started, I just want to explain exactly what it's going to be doing. Say you're working on a project uh, that has some precomps, and you realize that instead of having that precomp, you want to have all of the layers inside uh, moved into your parent composition. Well, to do that by hand could take a very long time, but using the Unprecompose plugin, uh, you can do that in a matter of seconds. So, what you're going to do is select your precomposition. And this project is very simple, just three text layers, and that composition is inside of the main composition. Uh, this is another layer for a second example. But for right now, we just have this layer put directly into the main composition, no effects, nothing added to it, uh, very simple. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to Layer, and it's going to be at the bottom of the Layer menu, but uh, as you can see, that is out of the screen. But it should be the last item right under Precompose. You'll see Unprecompose, and when we select this, it's going to bring up the Unprecomposed dialog. Now the first option we have here is Unprecomposed Layer Prefix. What this allows you to do is add a name, a prefix, to the beginning of each of your layer's names that are unprecomposed. And that just allows you to keep track of which layers came from the precomp and which ones weren't there. So if you want to add a prefix, just type your name in here. If you don't want that, leave it blank and uh, nothing will be changed. Then we have two options. We have discard precomp attributes and copy precomp attributes to layers. I'm going to start out with the second one, discard precomp attributes. And what this is going to do is any attributes that are applied to the precomp itself are going to be just erased. Anything that's applied to this won't apply to any of the layers once they're unprecomposed. And in this case, since I don't have any attributes or anything applied, any effects, position, transform attributes, nothing's been changed, so we don't need to keep it. So I can just choose discard precomp attributes, hit OK. You can see now that each of the three layers from the precomp is now into the parent composition, but there was no change in position. Everything has been copied exactly as it was in the precomp to the parent comp. Okay, so let's delete these layers and we'll move on to our second example. And this time we have our precomp pushed into 3D space. So our precomp actually has some attributes that we might want to keep when we unprecompose this. So once again, we'll go to unprecompose. And this time we'll choose to copy the precomp attributes to layers. Hit OK. You can see that once again, there has been no change in position or any kind of transform uh, from before the M precompose took place, but now you can see that each of these layers is into the main composition. We do, when we co choose to copy the uh, precomp attributes, get this null object that acts as a parent and contains all of the position attributes and the transform attributes for that precomp. All right, let me just undo that. There's a couple more options we have. Go back to unprecompose. You can see down at the bottom you have the option to delete the source after unprecomposing. When we select this, our last option gets grayed out, um, and I'll explain that in a minute. But let's choose this option. We'll choose to discard and hit OK. And you can see now we have disregarded any of the attributes that were part of this layer when this was unprecomposed. And because we selected to delete the composition after it was unprecomposed, that precomp was removed from the project. You can see if I undo this, we have the discard comp, and if we redo it, you can see that discard comp has been removed from the project completely. Now one thing to know about the deleting is that if we duplicate this, or if it's used in another composition somewhere else, when we go to unprecompose, you can see that that option is gone, and it says cannot delete this precomp, it's being used elsewhere. So if the precomp is being used more than once, you won't be able to delete it from the project. And that's just to make sure that you don't remove the precomp uh, if it's being used somewhere else. The last option we have here is pre keep precomp in composition. And if we choose this and hit OK, you can see that the items have all been brought out of the precomp, but the precomp itself is still here. It's just been turned off. So if you want to keep it there as a reference, uh, just to go back and forth, you have that option. But, one last thing, as you can see, it would, uh, wouldn't really make sense to be able to delete the uh, precomp after unprecomposing and keep the precomp in the composition, so if you select one, the other becomes uh, disabled.
But that's really it as far as how to use this plugin. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to email me at contact at batchframe.com uh, or you can leave a comment on the blog. But thanks a lot and I hope you find this useful.